Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your friend E. Dalsa here, and in this video, I wanted to talk about a subject very near and dear to my heart, which is the art of encouraging people. And it's an art, which is to say that there's a skill involved, and you can dedicate yourself to the mastery of that skill across your lifetime. And that's really what I want to do in this video is invite you to that because we're here to learn languages, but more broadly to learn and develop ourselves as people. And it's been my experience that it's really important to, while developing yourself, help develop others. And obviously I'm a, I'm a coach, I'm an educator, so I'm constantly thinking about how to do that on these technical ways. But really you also have these emotional, motivational levels that are even more profound. So let's talk a bit about this art of encouraging people. Part of what inspired me to make this video is because last night I was catching up with a friend I hadn't spoken to in several months and she had gone through like a rough patch in her life uh, but in recent time had been kind of really flowing upward. She found new work and is kind of on path with her life goals and feeling very fulfilled in that way and I was very excited for her and she was looking onto the future, what she could be doing, and I was, like, I was like, oh, this is so great, you can do this, you can do that. Wow, I'm super excited for how you're doing this and that. Like I swear, I've always said you're the chosen one, you can make this happen, daga, daga, daga. And at the end of the call, she's like, wow, I just wanna thank you, like I really appreciate your excitement and positive regard for me, et cetera. And, um, and I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. So it got me thinking back to when I, do that. I do that with all my friends and anyone I, I, I encounter, even people I meet like randomly at parties. I do a very exaggerated and humorous but also serious kind of performance where I'm really hyping the person up and really looking for ways I can contribute and help. And looking back on when I started doing that, it actually started when I was 19. When I was 19, it was a very formative year for me. I was in China learning Chinese and doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for the first time and meeting all these strange, interesting characters in that country. And uh, I went to a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu class once and there's this one guy there, this Australian guy, this short kind of Australian Asian guy who was like short and small but would like whoop my ass all the time in Jiu Jitsu because he's just way better. So I had like already naturally a lot of respect for this guy because he was so good, but he was also the most positive person I had ever encountered up to that point in my life. And like, it didn't matter what you said to this guy, he would just always somehow twist it and make it positive. You come in like, hey mate, how you doing? And I'm like, oh man, like, I had a hangover and I feel terrible, blah, blah, blah. And he'd be like, oh, it must've been great partying then, right? Oh, isn't it great, you know? And I'm like, yeah. And I remember one day I said something and then he just like responded in this way that was surprisingly like twisted it to like a positive frame. And I remember walking away from the interaction feeling good and I was like, huh, I really like interacting with that guy. Whenever I anticipate interacting with that guy or I interact or afterwards walk away, the entire before, during and after is just positive experience. And I was like, huh, do I have that effect on people? I don't think I really do. I guess I do because I'm kind of an up, I was always a cheery kind of person. But I realized after interacting with him that I had this habit that I picked up from my home environment of being kind of like a witty, kind of teasing type person. So I took a lot of pride in being able to be funny and witty. Uh, but I didn't always take a entirely positive turn. So when people would say things to me, I kind of noticed I had this habit of thinking of a, of a quick witty thing to say that can be teasy. And I didn't at least consciously come from a place of like negativity. I wasn't like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, didn't, I wasn't like, oh, let me try to be negative or like put this person down. That wasn't really the motivation. It was more just kind of like, let me be witty. Like it was just more like not really paying attention to what the person was actually going through, but just focusing more on like trying to say something funny and like develop my wit. And um, which in itself is not a bad thing. But I realized that like, yeah, you know, if someone's presenting to me like, oh, you know, I have this idea or I want to do this, you know, they're going to be in a vulnerable position and maybe it's not the best ideal time to like crack a joke about it. Or instead, I could be like this Australian guy and really like up them up, make them feel positive. That's actually the best time to do that. So I was like, let me try this out. So over the next couple of months, I started to notice whenever I had that impulse to say something witty and I'd turn it off and instead say something very positive and encouraging. 
And then over time, I was able to kind of like synthesize the two things where I'm like, oh, you know what? Let me see if I can be witty and creative on how I big people up and hype them up. So that's why, you know, I'll say stuff like, oh my God, this is it. I promise you, you are the chosen one. We've been waiting forever for this moment. You know, and really, really positive, really helpful. Try to get the person to laugh so I can kind of nourish that side of myself that likes to make people laugh, but doing it in this uplifting and positive way. And since doing that, I've come to realize that that is a very rare quality or behavior among the general population. More common behaviors when people are presenting their ideas to you is to actually put them down. Most people will be like, that's a stupid idea. Like, oh, really? You being a blah, 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 <laughs> right? And therefore, a lot of people, I'd reckon even most people in the world, actually very rarely encounter any real encouragement along the path through their dreams. Um, and the best they can hope for is just not being discouraged actively by people. And when I started to realize that, I started to double down on this. And that's why I'm making this video to invite you, if you're watching these videos, that means you're someone who's already dedicating themselves to improvement, you care about communication, you care about people, and therefore you might be predisposed to ideas like this. So what I invite you to do is to seek out and search out opportunities, whether with your friends or people you randomly meet here and there, and then whenever an opportunity comes or you see someone and they're talking about or they kind of mention like, oh, what do you do? And they're kind of like, uh, you know, I do this and um, I'm kind of working on this one thing right now, but I'm, you know, I'm not sure what it's going to go on. And then you can really tell by people's face, you know, the, the kind of confidence or whatever. Boom. There's your opportunity to be the hype man, to be the hype woman, to use your creativity, to practice the art of encouragement and then be like, oh, that sounds interesting. Tell me more. And they're like, oh, you know, is this like, wow, is it this? Wow, this? Wow, that's crazy. Tell, what? It's like a what? Oh, snap. Yo, I see that. Yeah, but wait, 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 what do you mean? Go on, go on. Pump in your curiosity and you're like, oh, um, well, you know, I was thinking that they're like, yo, bro, that is so dope. You were totally, how can I help you with that? Yo, I know somebody, da 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 And just get better and better and better at better at doing that. And it's it's just great. Like it's just why why not? It's a great thing. People need encouragement. Sometimes all someone needs is a little bit of a slap on the ass to like move forward and get things going on in their life. So you could be that person, you can, you can provide that support. It's so easy. Like once you get good at it, it's so easy and it feels so good. And you know, there's probably some other effect where that energy comes back around to you in your own projects because we're all going through stuff. We all have challenges of self-confidence and self-doubt. So why not just put it out there into the karmic field and help yourself out, help your friends out, help everybody else out. So that's really all I wanted to say here is if you feel called to it, I invite you to dedicate yourself to the art of encouragement. And it is an art because there's skill involved. You can get better and better. You can infuse your creativity. You can infuse your other talents. You can develop a kind of mental process of like connecting people you know and who might be helpful, doing follow up, all that kind of stuff. And if you just get better and better at this, then I believe is one of the key levers to make great things happen in your life because when you are a force of positivity, force of encouragement, and you build up goodwill among a wider berth of people in your life, good things happen for you and the people you care about. So why not do it? In fact, do it now. Find someone you can encourage now and practice this art, all right? If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. I am testing out just like videos that are tangentially or not even really related at all to language learning uh, to see how you guys, how the algorithm responds to it. So if you like it and you want more of it, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, let me know about your own things you're working on, and maybe in the comments I can big you up and play Hype Man as well. All right, guys.